Arriving under darkness hours before giving evidence, prompting calls of cowardice from his critics. Sir Patrick Valence's diary is 273901, page 92. But and Boris Johnson found nowhere to hide when confronted Johnson's with his own best. words about letting the virus rip through our most vulnerable communities. The Prime Minister meeting begins to argue for letting it rip, saying yes, there will be more casualties, but so be it, they've had a good innings. Bereaved family members inside the hearing room could be heard expressing their anger. The same families that were forced to separate from their loved ones while Johnson led parties inside Downing Street. So many of them who suffered horrific grief during yes. lockdown, we all know that it's far more traumatic even than um, many other kinds of grief. And then I'm afraid Partygate has been called exacerbated. Of course, and I... T I um, um... My lady, I, I totally understand their, their feelings, and uh, you know, I, I, I what, what can I do but again, apologise for mistakes that uh, we made in number ten. Johnson argued that as he was himself admitted to an ICU in April 2020, the near-death experience had made him understand the risk posed by COVID. And it goes to the to what 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 you were saying earlier about. about elderly people and my, uh, what you claim, we claim is my, my indifference to the, to the pandemic. I just want to remind you that I, I, when, when I went into IT, uh, to in, intensive care, I, I saw uh, around me a, um, a lot of people uh, who, were, who were not actually elderly. Um, and in fact, they were middle-aged men, um, and they were, they were quite like me. This has been a very difficult day for Boris Johnson. When the former prime minister is allowed to talk about wider government policy, then he appears to be much more comfortable. But when he's confronted with the evidence of his own words, well, that's much harder. Boris Johnson has been heckled and booed, his apology rejected and his evidence challenged at every turn. It is unlikely he leaves this inquiry with his reputation enhanced. Ashish Josh, Sky News at the COVID inquiry.